Hi everyone and welcome to another video, this is the Apostate Prophet. As I announced in my last video, this video is about the comparison of two very, um, bad people. So two weeks ago I made this post on Instagram. It is basically a little picture that compares Hitler to Mohammed in a sarcastic way. The picture merely says, one claimed to be on divine mission, blamed and killed massive numbers of Jews, and claimed that his people were superior. The other is Hitler. <laughs> Under it, I only compared a few things that both do or do not have in common, and pointed out that supporting one is gladly a taboo, while supporting the other is seen as peace, love and faith. The post reached over 650 likes in two hours, but was taken down before it completed its third hour. Well, since Facebook makes such decisions, I have decided to turn this whole thing into a video. First, for the smart bags, I want to say that I despise the idea of Hitler and Nazism, just as much as I despise the idea of Mohammed and Islam. <laughs> now that we have the political correctness bar out of the way, let's start. Hitler, as the majority acknowledged, was a horrible human being who made very brutal decisions that costed the well-being and lives of his enemies and his own people. He was as ruthless as to tell his own commanders to kill themselves, because to Hitler, the life of the individual is worthless if it is not sacrificed for something greater, such as the Aryan or German people. But what he didn't have in common with other horrible dictators is his admiration for Islam. Hitler is reported to have said that Islam would be a much better religion for the Germans because Islam is a religion of war, while Christianity focuses too much on apathy and prayer and personal suffering. He also worked with a Muslim mufti and had Muslim SS units. Let's start with the positive points, all the things that both have in common. Megalomania Declared multiple wars and spread aggressively. Both hated Jews, ordered the killing of Jews, followers hate Jews and others, both taught supremacism and chauvinism, persecuted homosexuals, obsession with war, divine mission and inspiration, oppression and the slaughter of oppositions. Let's come to the next point, negatives, things that both of them don't have in common. One wife versus over 11 wives. No record of pedophilia versus active pedophilia. No sexual activity records versus sex slaves. Loved dogs versus hated and killed dogs. Arts, portraits. One loved music and the other hated music. Domestic violence. Personally killing people. Human being versus considered holy. Taboo today versus loved and protected. Book banned versus book not banned. Followers shunned versus followers protected. That's it for now. Some might say that it is a, uh, an unfair list because I am a bit biased here with this comparison. Um, well, that's true. I made Hitler look even worse than he is, so Mohammed had a chance. <laughs> now, it is very unfair to compare a 7th century person to a 20th century person, because moral standards are very different, and Hitler was probably worse for his time than Mohammed was, wor than Mohammed was for his time. But let's not forget one very important point. Mohammed is not just some person who lived back then at that time. Mohammed in Islam is considered to have brought the perfect guide for human being, for all human being, forever, until the end of times. The Quran is considered to be the perfect, infallible word of God that is prevalent all the time and can never be changed. Because according to Islam, the Quran also exists in heaven in its exact same form. <laughs> so Muhammad is said is not just a person from the 7th century. He is considered to be the perfect person to ever walk the face of the earth. Ever. Until the end of time. That's why I want to compare Muhammad to Hitler. Now you might expect a result from this video and uh, want to see what I think about this issue, uh, as if it's not obvious what I think. <laughs> 
I leave the decision completely up to you. You can decide. Do you think Muhammad is worse or Hitler is worse? You can decide for yourself and you can write it down in the comment section and you can also explain your reasoning. You can also participate in the poll. Let's have some fun here. I'll also uh, f both of them. Thank you for watching everyone. You can support me on Patreon if you want to. The link is below in the description. You can pledge 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 or, 100 or 500 dollars. It's totally up to you if you want to support me because I really want to focus on this. On exposing Islam and informing about Islam uh, because I think that is my duty as a former Muslim. If you want to follow me for further updates, you can follow me on Instagram where I am very active and you can also follow me on Twitter. I'm not very active on Facebook, but I share updates there too. Thank you so much for watching. Stay away from Nazism, stay away from Hitler, stay away from Mohammed, and stay away from Islam.